Good morning and welcome back to Ranking the Beatles. Today we will be tackling the third Beatles release, A Hard Day's Night. I should have mentioned this in the first two videos. I am reviewing the UK editions of these albums, so if you grew up in the United States during these times and um, bought the Beatles on the Capitol label, the sequencing and track order will be quite a bit different. Some songs will be omitted, other songs like non-album tracks and singles and b-sides will be on the American version. So this is the UK Parlophone label editions. Their third album, which was released in 1964, were songs from the soundtrack of the movie A Hard Day's Night. Definitely the greatest Beatles movie of all time. And most of these songs appeared on the film. A few did not, but were just created specifically for this album. Like with the Beatles and Please Please Me, I'll be ranking my least favorite to favorite. A Hard Day's Night has 13 songs, as opposed to the previous two, which had 14 songs. However, all 13 of the songs are original uh, compositions. This has always been a favorite album of mine. Um, definitely my favorite early Beatles album, and one of my just favorite Beatles albums, period. So when I was ranking these songs, I noticed like song number eight and nine and ten, I mean, even song number 10, my 10th ranked song, I consider to be probably as good as the top five or four on the two previous albums. So that just goes to show how strong this album is. Really only two songs, two or three songs that I don't think are great, but um, even they are better than the, the, the lower uh, songs on the previous two albums. So I'll stop talking and get started here. Number 13, my 13, uh, least, my least favorite song on the album is When I Get Home. I love her till the cows come home. Yeah, this one just doesn't do a whole lot for me. Um, the, the side two of the album is, I think, just as, I mean, there are some songs that I think are stronger than side A, and, and the, the first side of this record is, I mean, it's fantastic. So, yeah, this something's got to be last, and When I Get Home, uh, pretty easily takes spot number 13. My number 12 is I'm Happy Just to Dance with You. And this is a George song, and you know, it's just, it's not a great song. It's, it's definitely the low point on the, on the side A. Number 11. Man, I really do like this song, um, but, but something's got to go in number 11. It's Things We Said Today. Kind of a, a minor, um, somber song, um, but I, I really do like it. I particularly like the bridge where it kind of cranks up again. Number 10, kicking off side two of the album, Anytime at All. This song always kind of reminds me of a poor man's version of It Won't Be Long. And I think it's just because that opening part, Anytime at All, or It Won't Be Long, except It Won't Be Long is such a fantastic song that it just develops into greatness throughout, whereas Anytime at All doesn't, it just kind of meanders. Number nine, we're going to go with Tell Me Why. This is the song where they turned around to the camera and sang, sang to the camera from their backside. I used to like this one quite a bit when I was younger. Um, it just, it doesn't do a whole lot for me. But it's still, it's still a good song. Number eight. Okay, now this one's going to surprise some people. This is a song that I perform quite a bit when I do solo shows. It's And I Love Her. My wife loves this song, and for whatever reason, like it just kind of sounds cheesy with like the the clave and some of the Latin percussion going on in the background. It's it's a beautiful Paul vocal performance, but I don't know. I think this song could benefit from some harmonies, like Beach Boy esque harmonies in the background, just holding like vowels or whatever, ooing and eyeing. But I don't know. It it's I do like this song. I like I said, I perform it. It fits really well in my voice, but. Um, this, this album is just, I mean, it's, it's, it's a fantastic album. It's one of the greatest rock and roll albums of 1964, and that's like 
the catbird seat for really strong pre psychedelia rock all right number seven I'll cry instead I got every reason on earth to be mad I wish this had started the second side instead of any time at all it just has a, a rollicking rock and good time feel to it number six number six the final track I'll be back this is a song for whatever reason so I listened to the hell out of this album growing up and I think I would get you know called to do something and I don't know if I finished the album that often uh, I mean I'm way more I was way more familiar with the front front side of the album than I was the back side of the album but man this is just a fantastic song um, and you know being that it's the 13th track sometimes those songs you, you never quite your attention span doesn't allow you to get to them but it, it it's a winner I love that song all right the top five and this is a this is a murderer's row of, of I would say all of these songs are excellent not even just very good all these songs are excellent and to be honest with you these top five I could switch them around in different configurations but today we're gonna go with you can't do that and man it pains me to say this because I was biking this morning and this song came on it like gave me a second wind <laughs> this is such a great song I know some people that say this is their favorite early pe early period non-single Beatles song I've got something to say that calls you pain I just it, it, it's a rocking one and, and, and you know kind of like I'll cry instead they just both have this driving force to it can't do that is my number five love that song number four the title track a hard day's night when I was maybe 10 or 11 when I was really listening I mean I was probably doing nothing but listening to the Beatles at that point I was exclusively listening to the Beatles um, this was my favorite song on any Beatles album and uh, I think it it goes to the number four spot just because I've heard it so many times that you know it's not one that I, I gravitate towards but I mean it's a hard day's night it's it's, it's a classic song what, what do you what do you what do you say about it I mean you can't say anything about it it's, other than it's just it, it, it's a perfect song but it's my number four today number three can't buy me love and you know once again if you list the top 10 Beatles song I mean if, if you grab somebody on the street and say what are your top 10 favorite Beatles songs I mean can't buy me love could possibly be on that list as well it's just it's a perfect pop song and Paul just he, I mean, his vocal on it is I mean unworldly but once again kind of like number four with the hard days night it's just I've, I've heard it so many times it's not one that I often go to but if it comes on the radio I mean I you sing along with it <laughs> you roll the window down you you, you really uh, go for it but number three okay my number two this one has over the years risen on my list and it's I should have known better and I'm not a big fan of like harmonica based songs I, I love Bob Dylan um, but I, I don't know just the tone of that just I don't gravitate towards harmonica based songs but you know John just sings the heck out of this the harmonica really works here it's just a feel-good song it puts a smile on my face every time I hear it all right and number one and this has been number one I would say for probably since I was a teenager probably in high school um, if I fell I mean this is the perfect pop song it's got this introduction you know if I fell in love with you I mean not a lot of Beatles songs have just a standalone introduction it never comes back and then you've got the most beautiful harmonizing between John and Paul and it's so fun if you if you have a friend that you that you connect with and sing with it's so fun to take the harmony and then like halfway through the song say okay you take the John part and I'll take the Paul part and then it's got this beautiful little bridge in there that that happens twice and I mean it is the perfect pop song and it's it's definitely my number one and I it's a song I never get tired of uh, it could possibly be in my top 10 favorite Beatles songs which might be a list that I do um, after I complete all of the ranking of the album songs well thank you very much if you haven't watched my other two videos they're on my Facebook page or if you're accessing this via YouTube um, they would be uh, on my videos so we have a Labor Day weekend coming up here, so I may do another video today if, if I have time. Because I, ha I have ranked them all um, on paper, but uh, haven't made videos of them all yet. So if you see me wearing the same shirt, I didn't wear this shirt on Friday. I just I 
did another video today. But we'll see. Thank you very much, and have a great day.